Hey, what's up, everyone? This is uh, Henry. This is Rick. And we are here from SoCal Solar Panel Cleaning Company. And today we are going to be talking about pricing your products, your services uh, in your area. That's a, a question that always comes up as far as how we go about pricing our uh, services. So we wanted to basically talk about uh, how we go about pricing, how we look for it, uh, whether it's bird proofing, whether it's solar panel cleaning, window cleaning, et cetera. So um, Rick, what do you think? Well, I think um, there are some do's and there's definitely some don'ts. We're gonna cover all those bases. So pretty much it's gonna require a little bit of effort on your part. Uh, we may call it homework or you may call it research, but it will definitely get you to where you wanna be in little or no time. Right, and you know, we, we are booked every single day uh, for this whole month of July. We are booked solid and uh, we are working into August. And that has a lot to do with our pricing, our presence on Google, our presence out there when we market ourselves. And uh, there's a lot of you that are just starting out uh, solar panel cleaning. And uh, whether you're doing window washing or solar panel cleaning, it, it's all the same. Uh, so we are going to give you a lot of pointers uh, on how to go about beating out your competition. Yes. So you guys got to stay tuned for that. You have to make sure you watch the whole video because we are going to give a lot of good golden nuggets. Also, we're going to be doing a live uh, uh, Q&A so you can ask the questions. Uh, if you want to ask questions, just put it in our chat. And we'll be happy to ans uh, answer some of those questions there for you guys. So let's get started on this. Um, this week we have, uh, I traveled, uh, we, we've been traveling all over the place. I had an opportunity to go to Las Vegas this week. And uh, Lucky guy. And guess what? I, we just happened to be driving by a solar farm. One of the biggest solar farms in Las Vegas. And uh, just happened to be looking at a lot of the equipment that was used to clean the solar panels and so forth. And uh, it's pretty awesome. I mean, it's pretty impressive. Uh, you know, when you're doing ground mounts or cleaning solar farms, uh, you got to have a lot of good equipment uh, to yes. go on with that. So when you are cleaning, um, you know, you, you got to have the right stuff. And, and that's very, very important. And this is how you're going to beat out your competition is by having the right equipment. Uh, equipment. Exactly. And so we can go out there and price our stuff uh, a little cheaper or a little bit more expensive when we go out and we do our pricing, uh, whether it's commercial, whether it's residential. Uh, so we're going to kind of go through all that, you know, commercial and residential um, solar farms, how you're, how they're pricing them out, out yeah. there and so forth. So, uh, anything to add on that as far as our work this week? And, uh, well, it's been a pretty busy week, which is, uh, if we look a little tired, it's because we've been working, we've been busting our, butt. but, but it's been worth it. Um, as Henry was saying, proper equipment, but you have to have confidence in the quality of work that you're providing. Once you do your research and you know generally what the pricing is and then you're confident that you're giving quality to the customer, then you won't have any problems with your pricing. You right. won't be talked down from it and you'll know whether this job is worth your time and your effort. Are you going to make money or are you going to lose money? We are never in business to lose money. Exactly. So that leaves only one other thing. Make money. And just uh, for you guys that are just joining us, we are getting a lot of new subscribers. We appreciate you guys uh, for definitely. subscribing to our YouTube channel. We're 120, 120 people away 
from us hitting 1,000 subscribers. That's where right. We can go live. We can broadcast live out in the field. That's exactly what I want to do. We're trying to get that 120 more subscribers to hit a thousand subscribers and i'm i'm telling you this right now we are going to be celebrating when we hit our 1000 subscribers and you guys are going yeah. to know it you're going to be there it's going down like i said uh you see us here but you much rather see us out there right and when we get to a thousand oh you best believe it's going down right so stay tuned for it if you haven't like and subscribe, please do it. Yeah, Henry, what button should they smash? They smash the like button right up on top, right there. They can do uh, hit the like button that will help us out, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the notification bell. Yes, that will let you know when we do go live. A lot of you guys do miss it because you don't hit the notification bell. Yeah. So, if you hit that notification bell, you will go live, uh, you will see us when we do go live. Now, let's get down to it. Let's get down to pricing because um, a lot of you guys have been asking that question. We, we had somebody call us this morning out of the Sacramento area, and I said we were going to go live today earlier or yeah. later on today and talk about this exact uh, subject. So i got a question for you, Henry. Sure. Let's say we're in Kansas, USA. Okay. I'm from Kansas. How do I get started? What well, should I do? Well, Dorothy, what you need to do. <laughs> I had to say it. <laughs> <laughs> what you need to do is we do this uh, and I tell all my new subscribers and I tell all my new guys um, that are interested in this type of business, check your area. Check to make sure that um, you have competition. And what you want to do is you want to be able to find out, one, how much competition is in your area. Two, figure out the services that you want to provide. Do you want to just provide solar panel cleaning? Do you want to provide solar panel cleaning and bird proofing? Or do you want to provide solar panel cleaning, bird proofing, and window, window cleaning. cleaning. Yeah. So uh, do you want to do residential? Do you want to do commercial? Do you want to do ground mounts? Do you want to do rooftops? Do you yeah. want to do uh, carports? All these come into play. The first thing you need to do is figure out where your company is going to go, what direction you want to uh, head. So in other words, you want to find out and make sure you answer all those questions first before you go out and attempt to get a solar panel cleaning business or a window washing sure. cleaning business or a bird proofing business. Figure out what you want to do first. OK, there are guys out there. So, sorry, Rick. There are guys out there that are doing pressure washing. They're doing auto detailing and they want to try solar panel cleaning for some reason. Go ahead, Rick. Okay. Well, quick question. Let's say I only have water-fed pulling brush and some window washing equipment. What should I advertise? Well, you want to advertise, you know, solar panel cleaning for residential. You don't want to advertise uh, solar panel cleaning for commercial because you just don't have the materials or the equipment to do that. Oh, I get it. So what I don't want to do is bite off more than I can chew. Absolutely. So if I have minimal equipment, which is okay, then I'm going to advertise minimal jobs. Right. And then we're going to grow from there. Right. You well, see? What if you're not a good window cleaner? You know, are you going to be advertising? I do window cleaning inside and out and what kind of prices are you going to advertise? Well, you know what? If you're not a good window cleaner, um, as far as I know, last time I checked, everyone has windows at their own home, which you can get a lot of practice in. And it won't cost you anything. So once you become good at it, by all means,
spread the love. Now you can advertise. That's right. I'm an expert. I clean 25,000 windows. Nobody <laughs> needs to know it's your own window 25,000 times. Right. You know what I'm saying? So exactly. Use this and you'll get this. Right. And don't under price yourself. Don't do not sell yourself short. Okay. Never do that. Never do don't that. do that. Uh, you are a solar panel cleaning company, a window cleaning company, and you are worth what you are advertising. Exactly. So if you feel like you're advertising um, $3 a window and that's what you're worth, then advertise $3 a window. If you're worth $10 a window and you're advertising $10 a window, that's what you're worth. Now, um, we talk about this all the time. So the best, <laughs> we got we got Joey back here. Let me slip this in real quick, Kenny. Okay, go ahead. You'll never do this. We'll never do this as far as advertisement goes. Hey, guys, we're not that good, so don't pay us that much. No. It don't make any sense, does it? No. If you're excellent and you're skillful, you're going to cost a little bit more. Everybody knows that. You got to pay a little bit more for the best. And if you're not the best, either quit or get better. Exactly. Exactly. And, uh, oh, sorry, guys. You know, I, 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 I was over here trying to figure out where my chat was, and I didn't open up the window. But now I'm starting to see. Because uh, we were cleaning it. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> now I'm starting to see the chat come in, guys. So thank you very much. Um, here's the thing. Let's let's get down to it. Let's get down to business. Um, you're starting a new company, a solar panel cleaning company, okay, in your area. We don't know where that is. When This is what we do. If we are going to advertise... Uh, for example, here in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. the first thing that I want you guys to do is Google um, solar panel cleaning near me. Yeah, You're going to find out how many people are doing solar panel cleaning. Then what you want to do is do window cleaning near me. You're going to find out how many window cleaners are in your area. Yes. Then you're going to go ahead and, and Google search bird proofing near me. me. And you're going to find out how many people are doing bird proofing. So if you have maybe one or two people in your area yeah. that is doing the service, um, there's a lot less competition. Now, if um, you have 30 people, like we do here in L.A., yeah. we have tons of guys out here advertising for solar panel cleaning, window cleaning, and um, bird proofing. So we know what our competition is. What I would do, and this is just me, is I would call my competitors. And I would ask them questions. What would, what would be some of the questions that we would ask if we were calling them? Well, what would you charge for 25 panels? I have a one-story home. Okay. Or what would you charge for 40 panels? I have a two-story home. Okay. I just have five panels. What can you, how, can, how much can you do that for? Right. And they will try and talk you down. Trust me, they will. Now, if you do that and you do that to five of your competitors, you're going to find out that on the average, it could be anywhere from $80 to $200 on a single story home. Yeah. And, and a two story home, it could be anywhere from, I don't know, there's guys out there that do it for 150 bucks to $350. We don't know. Yeah, and I'd also like to know what they're using on my panels as well. Right, right. I may even ask, hey, what kind of equipment do you have? Right. How do you clean the solar panels? Yeah. 
You know, that's a good question to ask. Well, why do they need to be cleaned at all? That's another good question to ask. And that way they know or they think that you're a customer and you go out there and you give them the explanation. And then sure enough, you kind of know what they're charging. Here's another way of finding out what your competitors are charging. Go to their website. There you go. There's a lot of knuckleheads out there Imagine that, that. that put their prices on their website. Now, why would I call you when I can simply look at your website and know what you charge? The whole idea is talking to the customer so you can make them feel comfortable when you are talking to them and letting them know that you that you got their back, that you will go out there and clean their solar panels. You will never get the job if they don't call you. No. It's as simple as that. You won't get the job. It could be a commercial job. And if I if I if I was a commercial business owner and I have 4200 solar panels to clean and I went to your website and you said, "Oh, I charge per panel." Hmm. I already know. I don't need to call you. I don't need to ask you. And you'll never get the phone call and you'll never get the job. No, I'm a person. I need to get a feel for it. I need to get a feel for you. I need to talk to you. I need to know what you know to do the job that I need to be, that needs to be done at my place. Right. And this is how a lot of you guys miss opportunities. Mm -hmm. So if you have prices on your website and you thought that that was a good idea, you're totally wrong. That is one of the worst ideas for you to have because why would they call you if they know what your prices are when they're calling around? And trust me, people do do their homework. They go out there and they do check around. They will call four or five different solar panel cleaning companies and they will try to look for the best price or they'll try to figure out who has the best equipment, you know? And so you want to make sure that you go out and you, uh, that you're going to do a, a better job than your competitor. Absolutely. And this is why our, um, our, our schedule is booked. This is why it's full because we talk to our customers. We let them know. And we, and, and um, after we talk to them, they usually book with us. And even though that they have other people that are cheaper than us yeah. and we're not going to stoop down to our competitors level and say, I'm going to do it for 80 bucks. There's no way. Does it make sense to us? No. I mean, we can't go out buy equipment. We can't go out and buy new material. We can't go out and buy these beautiful t-shirts to mm -hmm. advertise. We can't, we can't do a lot of stuff if we're not making money. Now look at all the uh, grocery stores and department stores. You don't go there and start negotiating at the cash register. You're leaving handcuffs. <laughs> I'm just being real. The price is what the price is. You know, we're not the swap meet, so we don't deal like we're at the swap meet. Right. We're quality. We're fine dining. If you go to the finest restaurants, it says market price. It doesn't change. Market price. We know what the market price is. For us, for the quality that we give, we know what the market price is. And it's not down there. <laughs> you got to look up, my brother. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So when you're pricing um, for solar panels, residential or commercial, uh, call around. Call your competition. Do not be afraid to call your competitors. Do not be afraid to call people in your surrounding areas. I, I, I'm going to tell you this, and you cannot sit here and say L.A. prices or Florida prices. L.A. prices or Sacramento prices, LA prices are Utah prices, or LA prices are, you know, Australian prices. Every place is different. 
Find out what your competitor is charging. Try to be close to that. If anything, be a little bit more than that. They're if they don't have a whole big selection, they can only pick so much. You yeah. know. Yeah. Um, if there's if there's only two of you in the area, well, they're either going to look at his reviews or they're going to look at your reviews or they're going to look at his prices and look at your prices and make a decision, especially if they want to get it done. Yeah. It's where you have tons and tons of competition, like here in L.A., Los Angeles. There's lots of guys here selling solar panel uh, cleaning. But what separates us from everybody else is we've checked around for our competitors. We know what they charge. Yeah. We would have a guy that charges $70 to do a, a, a hundred pounds. Okay. Just because he needs the money. Would we ever do that? Absolutely not. No. But you know what? At the end of the day, at the end of the day, when he cleaned all those hundred panels and he only received 70 bucks, was it really worth, worth, worth it? it? No. And what kind of quality <laughs> did you get after the first panel? Right. What kind of equipment is he using? What kind of equipment are you using? Do you have the Solitech brush? Do you have a small little 12 inch brush that you're cleaning 40 panels with? Yeah. How long does it take you to clean the panels? How long would it take us to clean the panels? I know we can do 50 panels in less than 20 minutes with our equipment. Been there, Fairly done easy. Been there, done that. Maybe three or four times cleaning the same panels in 20 minutes, 50 and we, pounds. And we know how long it takes using a hand brush too. Right. So don't be fooled. And will we ever go back to a hand brush? <laughs> no. 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 I'll lose more hair. I'll grow more hair and shave it all off. There you go. All right. Uh, and I'm going to get to some of you guys' questions in a minute here. I, I do see a whole bunch of you guys popping in. Thank you guys for using chat. Uh, we appreciate that. Ask your questions in chat. We want you to ask the questions why we are here. Please do that. And we can try to um, uh, answer uh, some of those questions for you. But in the meantime, um, if you are new to this channel and you have not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like we it. need 120 more subscribers. And we're going live. Yeah. We're going to be out in the field. All the way live. Man, I can hardly wait. I can hardly wait. Showtime. Man. You know what would be a good idea? I know what you're going to say, probably. Is to broadcast in a bar after work. Okay, yeah. We can do that. Yeah. Our boss can't tell us no. That's right. We're not even going to ask. I'm not going to ask my boss. I'm not going to ask my boss either. Yeah, no way. Because I already know what he's going to say. Uh, you're buying. Yep. Yeah, that's exactly what he's going to say. And I'm selling. <laughs> There we go. All right. So uh, to answer your questions and, you know, how to price and solar panel cleaning in your area, guys, if you were brand new and you didn't know anything about it, do your research. Google. Google solar panel cleaners near me. me. Right. If you are in Rancho Cucamonga like we are, we – what I did when I started this business is I went ahead and broadcast solar panel cleaning near me, Rancho Cucamonga, and I found out who my competitors were. Mm -hmm. I only had one competitor, and uh, we doubled his reviews, by the way, uh, so far. Yeah. So um, we beat them clearly. They don't even answer their phones, and yet – um, we went ahead and we uh, beat them uh, with our reviews and we are on top of our uh, Google organic sort search. Uh, so people are finding us organically. We don't have to advertise as much anymore as far as marketing because um, uh, we're being found organically and we're being found hundreds of miles away, San Diego area, you know, so Oh, and by the way, I want to say this because we have somebody who took our name. We have somebody in San Diego that took SoCal Solar Panel Cleaning. 
And guess what? We trademark our name. And now we're going after you. And we're going after you big time. So whatever you make with our name, we're going to get compensated for that. Sorry. We have a great attorney. We have spoke to him. And uh, this guy is on YouTube. That's all I'm going to say. He's on YouTube. He has his own channel. And he uses SoCal Solar Panel Cleaning. You guys can look it up. Take a look at the pictures. And you'll know exactly who I'm talking about. And this guy has four different companies. Solar Panel Cleaning Companies. Formerly known as... Formerly known as, and so we've been we found out about it through our customer, and so now we are going after them, and uh, it happens. So make sure that you trademark your company name. That that's a good idea to do that. We did that. Very good. And we're happy that we did do that. Goes a long way, guys, because it takes a lot of uh, effort hard work to uh get the ratings that we get right uh we're very proud of that and the thing is if you treat a customer right not only will they come back they'll tell other people because they know what quality is and like i said you wouldn't give anything to someone else that you wouldn't want for yourself so take it from us it's not even an extra mile it's just that much more right get you there so for you guys just starting out, please don't overshoot. Literally, you can think big, but that's where you're going. If you have minimal equipment, maximum effort, still price yourself fairly, do your homework and you'll get there. So we'll never knock you for your equipment. No. It will help you in the long run physically and as far as the uh job capacities that you can handle. But as for right now, just keep it simple. Make the phone calls, go ahead and Google near you. Then you have knowledge, knowledge is power. Now you have something to work with. Now you can say it with confidence. Right. Say it with your chest. There you go. And you're in baby. And you're in. Yep. So yeah, check your competition. It's very, very important that you do check your competition. Make sure that you are charging what they're charging close to it or even more. Uh, and you're still going to make money. Hold on. Let me get uh, Joey out of here because he's having such a good time. <laughs> and uh, come on, Joey. Let's go. All hey right. guys, don't always look at it as competition. You just want to see who's doing what you're doing. They may have knowledge that they are willing to share with you. You never know. It just depend on who they are. I mean, everybody's not like us, but you don't know that yet. Right. So all I'm saying is, yeah, they're competition, so to speak, but. And, and, and competition isn't bad. Most of them aren't. We work with a lot of our competitors. We really do. We work with uh, a lot of them. A lot of them have seen us on our YouTube channel and have called us and, have, and said, hey, we're right down the street. We're more than happy to work, work with you. We've called a few of our co competitors to help us with, with some jobs. Uh, last week, as yep. a matter of fact, we called one of our co uh, competitors, and he was great. He was awesome uh, and, and did a great job. Yeah. And uh, so you can collaborate with a lot of your competitors. Absolutely. There's some of them that don't like you. It's all part of the game. It is what it is, yep. and this is business, and this is how you have to look at it. You have to look at it as business, business. okay? And uh, we're not the type of people that we're going to go out there and uh, undercharge. We're going to charge what we think we're worth, and uh, this is how our business grows, uh, by going out there and doing that. We're going to answer some of you guys' questions here in a minute. We do see a lot of them uh, coming in. So, you know, uh, we will answer those questions. Go ahead and just ask the questions here in chat and we will answer those. We're not ignoring you. We're just talking about the subject, about pricing in your area. And uh, what else can we do uh, as far as pricing uh, in the area? Should somebody start out with commercial or should they start residential? 
Um, I would recommend that you never start off commercial because you don't have the capacity to do hundreds of panels in one day. And they're going to expect that. So start off where you are. If you happen to have top of the line equipment from the start and you, and you can get the, uh, the bid, by all means. But most people don't. Most right. people didn't. I mean, when we started out, we weren't ready for commercial. We didn't bid on commercial. No. So exactly what we're telling you now is what we did. As a matter of fact, when we got when we purchased our first C1000 Solitech brush, a week later, we got commercial. Boom. And a week later, it paid for itself. Yeah. So it paid it literally for itself the first week after we purchased our big um, Solitech brush. And... You know what was the what? What did we say when we were going to purchase the Solar Tech brush? What was our first answer? Uh, no, it was, <laughs> it was hell no. It was beyond PG thirteen, but we she said no. Yeah, more than once. Right. There's no way we're going to spend that money on that brush. You must be crazy. Yeah. And who, now who, who'd have thought we have two now? Yeah. Yeah. And like I said, it's going to make any job that you have a lot easier, that much easier. Right. I mean, it, now you're now, going to spend much more time getting up there than you are cleaning the panels. You know, and then we turn around and say, oh, no, we're not going to buy a robot. We're not going to do this. But down. We, we don't know. In the future somewhere, we might have so much work to where we might have to buy one yeah. to do the work that we're looking for. We were just in Las Vegas. I was just in Las Vegas, and I was looking at over 40,000 solar panels. 40,000 solar panels off the 95. And some of you guys in Vegas know exactly where I'm talking about. It's right on the corner of 95, and I can't remember 93 or, you know, coming in to Vegas. Um, and uh, had an opportunity to go out there and take a look at the whole field and there was tons and tons of equipment to clean those solar panels yeah and it just gave me a better idea and i said okay so now i'm in communication with the solar farms and you know doing 40,000 to 60,000 to 80,000 solar panels you got to have the right equipment now would I suggest you doing that if you were brand new and don't know what you're doing? Hell no, because you will fail before you succeed. Yeah. This is why 85% of you are going to fail is because you go out there and bite too much off than what you can handle. Yeah. And so you want to make sure that you go out there and, you know, price accordingly um, and, and don't, and, and here's another thing I really want to talk about. And, and this is, to me, one of the biggest success for our company. So if you're not listening, you need to listen now. When I talk about the success of our company and why other companies are failing in this industry. Do you know what that is, Rick? Are you listening? Hit them up, Henry. It is price per panel throw that in the trash do we do price per panel residential yes of course not what do we do rick <laughs> flat rate it's a flat rate depends on how many stories one story two story right we're not going to we're not going to give you our flat rate cost because we got competitors out there Right. And but a lot of you are not near me anyways. So this price may not work for where you are. Right. But, but basically, uh, if you charge per panel, it may look good. It may sound good. But there are some smart customers out there that will take advantage of you. What if I only have six panels on the roof, Rick, and you're charging ten dollars per panel? Uh, it's 60 bucks. But what if I have a two story home? Then I got to get up on your two-story home, clean six panels, and at the end of the day, 
I collect $60. What if I want to write a six month contract with you? Would you take it? Uh, no. Oh. Me personally, I wouldn't take it because it's not worth it. But as a customer, you hit the jackpot. Yeah, I have you coming every month for six months. And if you're stupid enough, <laughs> we'll make up an annual contract. Right. Five years. I mean. And then I'll sell your services to my friends. Can you believe this jackass got up there and cleaned those for 60 bucks? <laughs> he might do yours for 50. Yeah. And is it are, are you making money? Are you is your company making money if you're charging per panel? Think about it. You know, and it's all good when you are doing 4,000 solar panels, maybe that you can hit the jackpot on, jackpot on, but yeah. you you're you're not going to get those contracts. I'm telling you that right now. Uh, first mistake, putting prices on your website. Second mistake, price per panel. Don't do not do, do that. Don't do it. You are hurting yourself and you're hurting your business when it comes to residential. Charge a flat rate. Yeah. Figure out what your flat rate is going to be and charge it. And believe me. The more that you do that and the more of your competitors do that, the better the industry is going to be. Exactly. Because we have national contracts with huge, huge companies that we clean their solar panels every how many months, Rick? Tres. There you go. Three months. Some of them we clean five times a year. And you know what, Henry? I'm, I'm, I just have to keep it real. It's just been bugging me ever since you said it. Listen, if you're don't, near, if don't. you're, if you're near me, uh -huh. and you're charging per panels, please get in contact with us. You can work for us. We'll send you over. You go ahead and take care of per panel. We'll talk to the customer on your behalf. We'll see how that works out for you. Yeah, because we're charging them our flat rate. Yeah, exactly. If you're charging that, how can you make money? How can you upgrade your equipment? How can you put gas in your equipment? Come on, man. I was just going down to Arizona, as a matter of fact, this weekend. I was headed to Arizona, and I just, right on the, the borderline, I'm paying $5.15 per gallon for mm -hmm. gas then i jumped into arizona which was probably all of about 10 miles past the border and i'm paying three dollars and ten cents per gallon of gas yeah. then i go and i hit nevada take off to las vegas and i'm paying four dollars and i think 20 cents per gallon so each state basically has their set prices of what they're paying. So, and so that's why the near me really makes the difference. Makes, that's what you have to go by. You have to check what your competitors are charging. Now, if you got a competitor that is doing, I don't know, say for example, uh, he's doing, we'll say $200 for a single story house. But he's got like 95 reviews. And then you got a guy out there that has one review and he's charging 60 cents or $60, 60, $60 <laughs> uh, for, you know, the whole job. Or I don't know, we're going to say $3 per panel or $2 per panel. And believe me, we've seen it. We've seen a guy who is advertising two dollars per panel and i was like get that number yeah because i'm gonna have him do mine for two dollars per panel exactly. i got i got nine panels on my roof that's eighteen dollars yeah eighteen dollars per for the job for the job yeah send them to me i'll give him a raise i'll give him three dollars a panel just you got our number come on through
We got you. Yeah, exactly. So uh, check your competition. That's very, very important. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, when you do do that, uh, you're going to find out in your area, whether it's, you know, Kent, Washington or, or Arizona or LA or San Diego or Utah, Florida, Texas, you name it. Uh, find out what they are charging in your area and be competitive with that. And that's how you'll know um, about pricing, you know, uh, when it comes to residential. Now, commercial. Let's talk about commercial. We do charge per panel on commercial. But why do we do that? Well, because there's thousands and thousands of solar panels. There you go. They're not just 10 or 20. Most of the time, you're in, in the neighborhood of 500 to thousands of solar panels. Yeah. We just bid it on a job, 4,200 solar, solar panels. And 4,200. And um, so we were able to price that out. We're not going to tell you what we priced it at, but call your competition and say, I got 4,000 solar panels. What do you charge per panel? And you'll have an idea what they charge per panel yeah. when it comes to charging per panel. You want to do that for commercial. You can charge a flat rate if you want to. Totally up to you. You can say, hey, I just charged a flat rate. This is what I charge up to 5,000 panels. This is my price. Up to 10,000 panels, this is my price. And you could you could do it that way too. There's nothing wrong with that. So. That's a simple way for. Um, but take the commercial. advice of someone that's doing it now. Once you start doing it, if you want to change, now you can make an educated decision. Right. But until then, do your research, do your homework, and you'll get high marks. That's real. So now you know. I'll drink to that. Money's in the air. There you go. Love this brewery. Awesome brewery here in Arizona. They have Blueberry Ale, College Street Brew House. Fabulous. I get this filled up and I have and things happen. Many of these. Yeah. But awesome. All right, let's get to the questions, guys. Um, if you uh, have a question, just don't say hi. Ask us a question. This is why we're here. We're taking this part of the segment where we're going to be doing Q&A uh, and answering your questions. So feel free to ask. If you haven't smashed the like button up on top, smash that well, like button. Let us know. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have 120 left. Uh, uh, for subscribers to hit 1,000 subscribers. Yeah, just give us a little push. Man, we need that push. I, mean, yeah. I'm, I just want to just mm. confetti mm. everywhere. Yeah. Guaranteed. So uh, let's go ahead and see who's on. What's up there, Jonathan? Jonathan Rivera is up, taking Johnny? notes. What's up there, Jonathan? And welcome to Smart our guy. YouTube channel. Brand new subscriber, welcome aboard. Uh, Wealth Health 2015, Ho hello from San Jose. TLYN, I believe from Las Vegas, Nevada. Yeah. Hey guys, what's happening? I was just in your neighborhood. It sure was. Sunday and Monday, I was right in your neighborhood. Um, B and B, what's up there? B and B Windows. B and B, what's good? Uh, hello, Rick and Henry. T L Y N says we are meeting up with Mark tomorrow. Awesome. That's what's good. If you guys don't know who Mark is, Mark is AM pressure washing. He does all of our skids for us, our uh, pressure washing equipment, our hoses, all that. He is a this guy right here, unbelievable. He custom makes this. Yeah. Doesn't matter what you have. He'll make it. He gets down and. Uh, you will be impressed. Yes. Trust me. And, and he, he buys nothing but top of the line equipment. I was just on the phone with him and he went to another distributor and was able to get uh, 
on a huge order. So he's got a lot more equipment coming in uh, to start uh, fulfilling a lot of the skids that are uh, possibly, I think, on, on back order. I'm not sure. Yeah. But I, I don't want to put words in his mouth, but I know he said that he went ahead and ordered a whole bunch of – a lot of them were coming in. Yeah. All right. Um B and B says hello. Uh, purple and gold. What's up there, purple and mm -hmm. gold from LA? Hope your business is doing good, partner. No, 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 Santa Ana, baby. Oh, it's, my bad. Yeah. Santa Ana in the house yep. representing purple That's right. and gold. That's right. There you go. How could I forget? Uh, B and B windows. Hey, hello everyone. Uh, T T L Y N says That's dope. Show sure, you right. What's up there, Simon? Simon ba Batista. I thought you was going to say Simon Says. Gives me up a thumbs up. Sure, Appreciate right. that. All right. What's up there, Tito Vlogs? Tito Vlogs has his own vlog, his own YouTube yeah, what's channel. Up, Tito? Check him out, Tito Vlogs. We're giving you a free, free, shameless plug. I just picked up my water filter from AM Pressure Washing. That's Mark. I was hoping you guys would have been there. Also brought, bought some of that paint remover. He's a great guy. There you go. If you don't know, now, now, now you, you know. know. Um, he was talking about the paint remover that we were using for our uh, paint um, uh, removal on solar panels. We had some overspray. As a matter of fact, what do we have today? Overspray on the panels. There you go. So it happens more often than you think. Yeah. And guess what? We charge extra to get overspray off these solar panels because it makes a huge difference. You got to get that stuff off. Okay. Uh, the paint. And we do charge extra for that. And we make money off of that by yeah, charging. Of course. So that's just another service that you guys can provide. And, uh, you know, it does work. B and B window says one thing real quick, Henry. All right, that is a service that we do, but before we started uh, providing that service, we had to make sure that we had the solution that actually worked. Good so point. Don't don't advertise. You can do something if you don't know what you have works or not yet. So heads up on that one, guys. Right, and if you need some of that solution, you can contact Mark at AM Pressure Washing in Lake Elsinore. Uh, give him a call and he will help you out. He he has that uh, solution that is safe for the solar panels and it uh, uh, is really good. It's uh, good for glass and good for brick walls and everything else. Yeah. All right. Um, now I go back to my question here. B&B uh, &B Windows. Hey, Henry and Rick, I see you have some employees. Do you Do you offer health insurance? Is it real pricey? As a matter of fact, I had uh, Aflac give me a call this morning at 7 a.m. I was talking to them about um, health benefits for our employees themselves. As of right now, we don't offer um, health benefits to our employees because we're a young uh, company, but it's not something that we're, we we um, we, we've considered it, and uh, you're absolutely right. It's very expensive, but it's something that uh, as we're growing, we are going to offer that to our full-time employees and give them some type of uh, dental health and, uh, you know, life insurance coverage. Uh, I think that's only fair, yeah. and uh, it just helps us out as a company too. But great question, b, &B. Oh, Absolutely. Oh, look who's in the house, Mr. Juan Celery. Whatever you got. Hello. <laughs> I don't even want it. What's up, Juan? What's up, Juan? <laughs> That's all See, we're saying. Yeah. From right. Florida. In the house. There you go. I know you're doing big things, Juan. I see you. We see you. We hear you. We got Google Earth. Google Earth, and we know. B&B Windows says, we are interested in getting the solar tech text. 1,000, we were told it's about 18 weeks out. Do you know if that's true? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It is a popular, popular brush. 
a lot of people use it in Europe. That's where it came from. So the U.S. distributors are backlogged right now. And because we've been advertising Solatech C1000 on our videos, we have a lot more people that were interested and that were buying them. Like hotcakes. Like hotcakes. And I warned you guys. I sat there and I said, buy the Solitech brush as quickly as you can. We don't know how long they're going to last. And sure enough, they're on back order. Yeah. And, uh, but it is what it is. Get your orders in yeah. and hopefully they get here uh, fairly if, quickly. If you see one of these babies in action, you'll know. You'll know why it's on back order. Right. We have two of them and those are like gold. Yeah. We have our primary and our backup. And we use them every day, yep. just about. All right. Uh, TLYN says, that's true. Uh, there you go. What's up, Advanced Living? That's right. Every day, baby. We don't know where you're from, Advanced Living. Let us know where, what area you are from so we know. Up around here where I live, there is no competition. Well, then you can set your own prices. And there you go. Yeah. Set your own prices and try to be reasonable. But at the same time, you are an up and coming solar panel cleaning company or a window cleaning company or boot bird proofing company. Yeah. So you can set your own prices and uh, you, you have the perfect, perfect storm. scenario. Yeah. Hit them hard. Get your equipment in place because competition is coming. Trust me. People are going to see you on the roof and they're nosy. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, TLYN says, uh, b and Diana, so Tech's rep told me they weren't getting any more until the fall. Uh, I'm going to check uh, with uh, somebody else and see if I can get them. Um, I'll, I'll check with that. But, yeah, I'll check with Diana, too. Yeah, she is our distributor. And... Uh, see what the story is on that. And I'll kind of keep you guys updated on that too, okay? So you guys know. Um, Panarello Rider. Hi there, strangers. We're, we're, we're not strangers. We've been here. I know him. I know him. We've been here yeah. on YouTube. Maybe he's the stranger. Where are you at? Mr. Henry and Mr. Rick. Checking in from the ATL. That's Atlanta. Recently sub and have been have been watching your vids for the last two days. That's what I'm, That's talking, what I'm about. talking about. Well, there you go. Wealth Health 2015. What footwear uh, you use to prevent from slipping off the roof? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, hiking boots. Exactly. Get some hiking bo boots. Um, <clears throat> Big five. There you go. I've been to Big Five. I don't have my shoes on right now, but <clears throat> excuse me, hiking boots. Uh, they have them for thirty-five dollars to fifty bucks. Yeah. And if they got a real deep uh, tread sole, uh, those are great for um, Spanish style. Uh, you won't slip, especially those. Yeah, and then uh, flat roof also. Uh, when they get wet, they tend to stick on it a little better and uh, use those. But hiking boots. If they uh, can keep you from falling off a mountain, keep you from slipping off a roof. There you go. Where do you come up with this shit? It's just out there. You just got to grab it. <laughs> it's for everybody. It's a gift. All right. Um, let me see. One, it's, oh, wait a minute. We missed one. We missed several of them. I'm over here. Look at me. Ahaha. Ha. Um, yeah. T-L-Y-N. I'm about to look for the other SoCal. Nigel James. What's that there, Nigel? Nigel. What's uh, good? Glad to see you guys are back on live. Yes, we were just talking about it. And we were like, you know, we got to go back live because uh, I missed my live audience. Yeah. Well, and guys, we're out there grinding. So we are. If we weren't working, working, I mean, 
we work today, but today we actually had time to shoot the video. That's yeah. right. So you didn't see us in here. That's because we were out there. Yes. Uh, when we go live, you can go with us. Robert, what's up there? Robert Big Aguilar. Rob. What's up? Rob, Robert Aguilar. I do HVAC. I want to add solar panel cleaning to my business. How much money do I need to start? Uh, well, that, that's that's a that's a tricky question. Robert, how much money do you want to make? How much money do you want to invest? You know, you ask yourself, you know, what did it take you to start the HVAC business? What type of equipment did you use for the HVAC business? We use nothing but the best. Just one of the Solitech brushes our cell, uh, that we use uh, was in the neighborhood of uh, $6,500 to $7,000. We have two of those. So we've invested $14,000 just in the Solitech brush yeah. itself. Not talking about anything else that we have. Um, we, we bought our van. We bought a 2021 uh uh, Silverado. Uh, we have skids that we purchased. Uh, those were at least, you know, four to five grand by the time we got done with them. Uh, all of our uh, window cleaning equipment. Speaking of that, we just got window cleaning equipment that came in today. I'm curious to find out what this is. But um, in the neighborhood, you're, you're, you're roughly looking Anywhere from twenty thousand yeah. to forty to fifty to sixty to seventy thousand, just depends on how much you you want to spend. I mean, that's that's the whole idea. Is you know how much money are you willing to spend on equipment? I buy nothing but the best. You know when it comes to uh, equipment. And I'm gonna tear this thing up because I don't know what I ordered. What did I order? I'll be right there, guys. All right. Tell me what we got. And let me see here. Oh, wow! This is the Mormon 2.0 for window washing, and we bought. A whole bunch of these. Um, ah, just rip this stuff up. Oh, with the uh, well, it's a pretty long blade. This is uh, yeah, this is a, a a long, long blade for for this one here. But let me get this in there. Well, anyways, I'll put this. I'll put this together. Um, there you go. I think this is the 23 inch blade here. Pretty, pretty good size. Can adjust up and down. And we bought I don't know a bunch of them. Oh, here are the smaller blades. So we have the smaller blades here. Wow. Oh, some pads, bronze pads, charcoal pads for window cleaning. And that was through WCR, WCR. So window cleaning resources. Got another box here. We're not going to open it up right now. But um, anyways, we spent money all the time but it's it's well worth it and so you know we go out there and and, and buy products all the time when it comes to that let me find out who else is on here uh we see jonathan jonathan rivera that's exactly what i just saw right now they are escondido oh yeah you're talking about the other guys yeah, look at their photos, and you'll recognize this guy. He has his own YouTube channel, and anyways, he stole our name. Enough said. Enough said. That's all we're going to talk about. But, you know, we we have a cease and assist letter 
that was mailed out. Uh, so we'll see what happens and get that taken care of. If not, we let our attorneys take care of that. That's what they get paid for. Um, the, the, Nigel James says, hi, guys. Hope all is well with you and your family. I have seen lots of fires. Was a little worried. Uh, don't worry about us. We're cool. Fires are helping our business, to be honest. A lot of smoke getting on them. And, uh, you know, it, it helps. Yeah. You know, yes. so we got people that are actually. It's unfortunate, but. Right. There's a mess. Somebody has to clean it up. <laughs> TL, TL says, yeah, Joey is tripping. <laughs> so, I'm sure it was. Yeah. I was talking about my cat. Um, Rick Barron, 2020. True, but informative. And do great work. And clients will tell everyone. Got one client who liked us so much, he made the whole neighborhood use my service. I got 10 clients from him. See, and, and this is what we talk about. It's not who I know. It's who they know. It's yeah. who your cu customers know. Yeah. And when you have customers that, that know the right people, you'll get more business, more business, and more business. So you treat them all right. Uh, da, da, da. Manny Madrigal. Hi, guys. There's only one SoCal solar panel cleaning, the best in the West. We really appreciate That's that. That's what we've been saying. That's right. That's why we have our shirt, SoCal solar panel cleaning company. All right. Righteous Standard. Welcome to our channel. Haven't seen you around. Welcome. Uh, Righteous. How do you guys place a second ladder on a two-story tile roof. Seems as it wouldn't be stable as you can break tiles. Other questions, how much does it cost to replace tiles? I don't know about replacing tiles because we don't break them, but we do have a contractor on, on standby if we do break them, and he just basically takes care of it for us. Now, uh, you'd have to ask the contractor that question, because um, we don't break, we try not to break tiles. But to answer your question, we do have videos on how to place a ladder there you go. on top of a second story roof. Now, if you were to look at the tiles and the tiles go up and they go down, up and they go down, they go up and they go down. You want to place your ladder feet on the bottom, not the top right. of the pan of the tile. If you put it on top of the tile, it will break every single time. You're putting that much pressure on the top of the tile where it's going to split. If you put it on the bottom of the tile, the bottom of the tile that lays flat on the roof, so there's no place for it to go. Uh, so you can place your ladder feet right on top or on the bottom of that tile and you should be fine. It won't slip. It shouldn't slip. Right. And then we have secondary precautions on how to uh, keep that ladder from falling. What do we use, Rick? C-clamp and a strap. C-clamp and a strap that goes right to the eave. You clamp it. You clamp it and you tie that strap around your ladder and, and the clamp. your clamp itself. Now, there are other straps out there that you can use. You can use another strap that will basically go in the middle of your ladder in a Velcro. Uh, we've seen those uh, where they literally could just put the Velcro and it put it right on top of it. Put the uh, C-clamp in the middle of the ladder and then get your Velcro uh, strap and then put it around one of the cross members and that will prevent that from falling down. You can do that too, totally up to you. Yeah. But we do have videos on that. So ladder safety is one of the videos that we, we do use and we do have that, so. Good, good question though. Good bro. question, yeah. All right, let me see here. 
Juan says, when you play with the bull, watch out for the horns. You are the best. We appreciate that, Juan. Um, T-L-Y-N. After seeing you all work with that brush, I was like, hell yeah. That's what we said. There we Exactly what we said. What's up there, Jonathan? Jonathan Rivera is chiming in. And uh, you know what, guys? I got to say this. If you're new to our channel, let us know where you are from. It's, it, it's important to us because we, we want to know if you're out of the country or you're here in the States. We want to know who we're talking to. Yeah. You know, and, uh, it, you know, we just like that. So Jonathan Rivera says, thank you guys for all the information. Uh, because of you guys, I found Mark, and I, I will be starting my business very soon. If you guys have any work in San Diego, I would love to work with you guys. We will keep that in mind. That's right. It'll be a done deal. We always need help. I mean, that's just, we, we, we have a lot of work, and, and we get big jobs. We just got uh, one of the big hotels. A uh, good contract for them, and uh, we're doing those yeah. uh, cleaning, uh, you know, the hotels up. Uh, and uh, you guys know which hotel this is. It's a big one. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. And, um, you know, we, we got the contract for that. So we're moving up, moving up in this world. Uh, and that is a lot of hard, hard, hard work. That's right. You know? and, That's right. And, and, and guess what? Nobody can take that away from you from us nobody yeah they can take our name or you can, can try to you can try to but we're going to come after you and not only that um you can't replace us you can't take our reviews either that's right we had yeah 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 we got lots of reviews a lot of five star reviews which is awesome advanced living says um between Sacramento and Tahoe, no competition is one of the reasons why I'm doing it. Awesome. There you go. Uh, yeah, I, I love it. Um, my sister lived up in Reno, and I would go to Sacramento. I can't remember what highway that was. But um, drive by Lake Tahoe, which my cousin lives in Lake Tahoe, yeah. and uh, awesome drive. especially Thanks, Reno. Especially in the winter time, don't let Rick drive though. He said he saw a Sasquatch. That no, was Bigfoot. Sorry, Bigfoot. Yeah. Who would have known? He was swimming in Lake Tahoe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> you did ask. Uh, Advanced Living says try, uh, try trail. Running shoes, they work great on roofs. Okay, well, there you go. And there's another person that uses something else. That's awesome. There you go. I use hiking shoes. I love hiking shoes. They're good grip, and they keep me safe. So, but if you got something else, hey, great. Let our let our uh, subscribers know. Panarello Ryder says, you know, you remember me, Mr. Henry. I'm that. Yes, I do know who you are. The A to Z member, LOL. Can you can you fill up your water tank at the gas station? Uh, no, no, you don't want to do that. No, uh, no. Usually at a customer's house, you can you can you, if you have a hundred gallon tank, um, uh, we tend to fill up uh, at a customer's home and use the water, but it goes through our filter system. There, there are places out there where you can buy deionized water and fill up there also. Uh, it's totally up to you. Um, so, but uh, you can you can do that. Uh, and, and welcome aboard, Panorama Rider. I don't know exactly who you yeah. are, so welcome aboard, yeah. and, and I'm glad you're here watching our channel. Uh, Wealth Health 2015 out area service fee, 50 cents per mile. What is a fair fee? Oh, okay. You're talking about uh, mileage fee. Uh, over 50 miles, uh, maybe 25 cents a mile, 35 cents a mile. I don't know. Um, we don't really charge a, a, a fee for that. I will do. I, I do tell them though that if we got to go a long way. As a matter of fact, I think uh, 
I think we have one where we're going out to uh, San Diego, uh, uh, East San Diego next yeah. week. Yeah. Um, and uh, we did charge them. We charged them, uh, I think, $40 to go out uh, for a travel fee, you know, which was not much. It's just basically yeah. to pay for gas. And that's it. So if you're, if you're nitpicking with miles and all that, once again, it'd be better off if you had just a flat rate. Right. Exactly. You know, it's a gas surcharge because you're so far away. Uh, what's up there, Andrew? Andrew Richard says, hey, what's up, Henry and Rick? Just placed an order for a skid from Mark. Mark. Man, waiting for some parts. I'm looking to purchase a water-fed pole and get started with a brand. Uh, what brand would you recommend? You know what? Give me a call. I think I have one. Uh, I have one in mind for you, Andrew. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put our phone number. See, I had to put my beer down to write this down. So, hey, and I, I saw your skit the other day. It's nice. Yeah. So trust me. Uh, I'm going to put our business number down. You can give us a call tomorrow. That would be awesome. Don't try to call now. Um, it's Miller time. Miller time. Uh, and great, awesome that you uh, purchased a skid from Mark. He's a good guy, does does great. John from HVAC says, howdy, howdy. Uh, What's up, John? <laughs> Jose Velez just purchased my skid from Mark. I saw yours too. Man. I mean, you guys are coming up. That's right. Uh, what's up there, Spotless? Spotless is new because I have not seen him come on Me live either. or anything else. I Hopefully you guys are subscribed to do our, that. our YouTube channel. We only have, we have 120 subscribers. We need to hit 1,000. We're trying to hit that 1,000 mark so we can go live. So if you're not subscribed, Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell right there, uh, and also give us a thumbs up right up on top right there. Give us a thumbs up. Let us know that we are doing a good job answering your questions and everything else like that. Welcome aboard, Spotless. Where, where his question is? Where do you recommend we buy solar panel cleaning equipment? Um, there's a lot of places. WCR. Uh, window cleaning resources. We we're not affiliated with them at all. No. So we don't make any money off off that. We buy our equipment from WCR. There is Racenstein in Santa Ana. Um, we uh, are not affiliated with them. Also, but they do recognize us when we go in and they give us a little break on something. If you guys mentioned that Henry and Rick sent you, yeah. uh, they do. They do notice that we have a um, we have a lot of um, in the description. Uh, we, we if you look in the description in our videos, you're going to see all of our uh, distributors. I made a video on where we get all of our stuff. Yeah. So that video is where we get all of our equipment. Watch that video. Yeah. Go underneath that, and you will see that uh, all the links there for uh, the stuff that we purchase. So hopefully that answers your question. You know what? I gotta have my drink. So, um, have it. ASBC Aloha, gentlemen. What's good? And right here, righteous standard. You might want to read that one. But I can't read from far away. See, you thought I was gonna say I couldn't read. Period. But just give me a second. I didn't bring my glasses today. We we'll definitely get you taken care of. Um, I'm from Oakland, California. Righteous says I'm from Oakland. What's up, Oaktown, California? I'm new to your channel, and I appreciate both of you. You guys have encouraged me to add solar panel to my pressure washing business. Why not? You have a pressure washer. Put it to good use. Yeah. There are guys that have pressure washers that are using doing auto detailing, pressure washing, uh, concrete, roofs, 
we do we do a lot of uh, services, uh, dryer vent services. We're looking at that yeah. to get into that to clean out some dryer vents. Uh, is it is it going to be our main part of our business? Probably not, um, but it's there in case we need it. And there's something else that we could um, that we can add to our services. Um, <laughs> ASPC says how to clean panels with DFI coating if there is in if there is any differences. You know, it, I, I kind of have mixed reviews on putting coating over your solar panels. Some say it's good, but here's the problem. Tell them. Why would you need our service if you're going to coat solar panels so they stay cleaner longer? And that would destroy your business. Even though you go out there and provide that, Instead of you cleaning solar panels every three months and having that guaranteed paycheck or every six months for residential, you're, you're destroying your business. And I would not do that. And a lot of times that will void the customer's warranty. That's so the part right there. You have to make sure and check that any type of coating that you put on there is not going to void the customer's warranty. And um, you have to be really, really careful with that. As a matter of fact, we had um, we 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 have repeat business all the time. As a matter of fact, we had a customer that called us and said, "Hey guys, I need you to take off the bird proofing equipment that you guys put on." And we were like, "Why?" Well, apparently. She has a leak in her roof and the leak in the roof came from when they installed the solar panels. So when they installed the solar panels and it happened to drizzle one day, she noticed a leak in her roof and it was coming directly from underneath the solar panels. We bird proofed all the way around the solar panels. Well, in order for uh, the solar panel company to come out and re fix that, they weren't going to do it unless we took it off. So we were nice enough. Rick was nice enough to go out there while I was in Vegas and remove the netting that we put up. We're going to go back out there and put it back up. And guess what? Are we going to charge her for it? No. Well, it's they're going to charge the other company for the. Yeah, they're going to charge the other company. Yeah. But for improperly installing the panels. But we're not going to charge her. You know why? Because she's given us repeat business. And sometimes it, it, it works out better that way. And, you know, actually, she's going to get a little extra from us, too. Because once we're there, we're going to make it right. Yeah. And since we're up there, we might as well clean our panels. Again. Yeah. You know, all the stuff that, and, and she is so upset, you know, she's, she's teary eyed and we're, we're like, look, you know, we're a company, we're going to make it as easy as possible for you. So don't worry about it. You deal with the solar panel company and don't worry about us. We'll take care of it. And she's stressed out about it, but we eased her mind and basically said, this is what kind of service that you get from Rick and Henry at SoCal Solar Panel Cleaning. You know, we're not going to go that we're, we already charged her. What's the point of charging her again with something that wasn't her fault, her fault yeah. at all? It was the solar panel company's fault. They broke a tile and didn't tell her. And so now she's going to have to get it fixed. Did I take my drink? I don't think so. But go ahead. You thought about it. <laughs> I thought about it. Okay. Uh, Andrew says, thank you, brother. I will be giving you a call tomorrow. Sure, you're right. Right. We'll be sure to answer, too. Uh, it seems like that says forehead, but I know it's wrong. What For the you? real? Oh, For the okay. real. My bad. I told you I need glasses. Forehead. <laughs> okay. Um, 
What's up from Jake? Solar Panel Cleaning Solutions. Where are you from, Jake? Let us know. Let us know where you're from and uh, Solar Panel Cleaning Solutions. What what area are you from? Let us know. Yeah. Panarella Ryder here from ATL. Solar panels are not popular as in California. How would you gauge the need for the business? Again, do a Google search, uh, uh, Panarello. Do a Google search in your area for solar panel cleaners near me. Solar panel cleaners near me or window cleaning near me. Find out how many of your competition comes up um, or type in solar panel clean. Google it and see how many people come up. Yeah. And if there's one or two, it's a business. Look around like we did. Look around your whole area. Check out how many solar panels are on the roof. Exactly. And ask yourself this. Are they clean or are they dirty? And count the dirty ones and count the clean ones and you'll know you have a business. Yeah. And also a lot of those commercial businesses, including the grocery stores, department stores, you may not be able to see them, but they all have solar panels on the roofs. Right. Trust me. They do. Hundreds. Yes. Yes. As a matter of fact, one of the big corporations that we have have 1,800 solar panels that need to be cleaned every three months that we got the contract on. Each store, huh? Each store. Imagine that. And there's over 1,000 stores in California. Hmm. Hmm. Loving it. I like that type of party. I love that type of party. As a matter of fact, I'm going to have another drink. <laughs> just, just to have another drink. Um, let me see. Wealth Health 2015. Um, you know what? I missed one. Wealth Health 2015 says, I, I'm spot free out of San Jose. Awesome. There you go. Uh, near the Bay Area. There what's up there, SS Cleaning Service? Uh, what's going on? And welcome to our channel. If you're welcome. not subscribed to our channel, subscribe. Do that. What's up there, guys? We've been watching your content. It's very informative. Curious. What would you quote 24 panels on a garage from a ground 27 feet water fed garden air? They, want, they also want a biannual service. I don't know. Let me see. 24 panels on a garage. You sit, consider that a one, one story. story. I don't know what city you live in. I don't know what state you live in. Let me know, SS, where you are at. I can give you a better idea. Uh, Price-wise, 24 panels in the neighborhood of $150 to $250. Well, here's to give you a better idea. In the neighborhood. If you're asking, that means you're probably switching from the per panel to the flat rate. If you got the flat rate going, even if it's on a house, garage, dog house, whatever, it's still one story. 24 panels is decent. So consider that a one story, 24 panels, just give them the flat rate, whatever is appropriate for your area. Right, I think he just went ahead and said Northern California. Northern California is pretty big. You're in Bakersfield, you're in Frisco, you in, I don't know, what's up further than that? Reading? I don't know where you're at. So, but in that neighborhood, I mean, if you, Sonoma County, okay. So check around that neighborhood, call your competitors and find out what they would charge for 24 panels. That's the first thing that I would do is call them and say, hey, what do you charge for 24 panels? Now, do you have the right equipment? What kind of equipment are you using? You're using a water-fed pole or are you using a high-pressure pole? I think he said water-fed pole. Okay, water-fed pole. All right. So you know you're going to be doing some work. Yeah. So make it worth your while. Anywhere in the $150 to $200 range, I think, is ideal yeah. for 24 panels. But, you know, what we use, we can knock that out in a matter of minutes. What you're using may take you a little longer because you're out there, you know, huffing, pushing huffing. that broom. Yeah. So it, it's going to uh, it take whatever you think that you're worth. And that's very important. 
So, and and just say, hey, you know what? I I charge two hundred and twenty five dollars to do it, but I tell you what, second time I'll give you a discount and charge them two hundred dollars next time. And if they're going to do it every three months, say, okay, I'll do it one hundred and seventy five each time. There you go. And you still make money off of it. Customer service at its best. Okay, let me see here. We got a cat lover over here. I can see that already. Um, wealth Health. Uh, okay, we answered that one. Nigel. Nigel James ordered a 2800 PSI pressure washer. Should get it next week. Building my equipment slowly but surely. I think Nigel is in the Caribbean somewhere, if I'm not mistaken. CC the cat. Hello, fellow cool cats. What's <laughs> happening? What's, What's going good? on? I have three cats there, CC, and they all have personalities of their own. I have three cats. <laughs> They're just at Henry's house. <laughs> so that works out for me. <laughs> He can leave whenever he wants to. <laughs> um, Righteous Standard says, is bird proofing difficult to do? Do you, and do you have a how to do on that? Yes, I have a video on go. bird proofing. Yes. On how we do it. I have a time lapse video of how we do that. So watch our videos if you're new to this channel, Righteous. Yeah. Watch our videos. We, we have got, bird, plenty of bird proofing from top to bottom. We 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 have them that we yeah. There's plenty of them. All right, and um, it is worth it. There, there we can charge in the neighborhood yeah. on bird proofing. You can charge in the neighborhood in in Los Angeles eight hundred dollars to twenty four hundred dollars for bird proofing. There's guys out here that are doing it for twenty three twenty four hundred bucks. Figure out how many arrays there are. You got, you know, how many arrays there are. Uh, the edge of the roof, if you're working at the edge of the roof, it's going to cost you more. If it's um, Spanish, tile. Spanish tile, it's going to cost you more. If the roof is steep, See? it's going to cost you more. Uh, I'm talking to a customer when I'm telling you that it's costing you more because we're putting our, you know, our butts on the line by slipping off, cleaning them. We did a bird proofing yesterday. And oh my goodness. Do, do you want to tell them about that? About the bird proofing? We yeah. we undercharged for that bird proofing. And it was a lot. But we undercharged. You know how we you know why we undercharged? Um, it wasn't our fault. No. We did everything the way we were supposed to do it. But the fact of the matter is they had so much bird crap underneath there. An extraordinary amount. Just it filled up half of their trash can. We literally had scooped a shovel and just the concrete underneath was like this. After we got done cleaning it and it was Spanish yeah. tile and we probably took out three nests at that point. So probably at least... They had three generations of birds under there before they called us. Yeah. And uh, we got it done, got it cleaned. Now, we used a little bit more water because we had to pressure wash. But when we got done with it, it was the customer was happy. Gave us a five-star review after we were done. Yeah. Before we even got on the freeway, we literally had a five-star review. Yeah. Exactly. So was it worth it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, of course yeah. it is. It was worth it. And it's not hard to do. Bird proofing is not hard to do, but it's time consuming. And there's a lot of things that you can do, fall off the roof, what have you. And you don't want to, you don't want to do that. You want a professional doing it and let the professionals handle that. For uh fourth, fourth the real L says Stockton, California, baby. There That's you go. Up. Uh, he also says, I woke up with the idea. Well, there you go. What were you dreaming about? What the <laughs> hell? Uh, use leads that pay for to get jobs hustle door to door. Um, well, show them what we use. We, we do marketing. We do a lot of marketing when it comes to that. We do door hangers. 
uh, door hangers we have right here that we use. There we go. We book now. We put beautiful pictures on there. We will go ahead and put on there bird proofing. There you go. That's one of our services. Uh, high pressure cleaning, solar panel cleaning, uh, window washing. We have all that. These are all the services that we provide. We also give them a $20 discount for using this door tag. They call us, say, yes, you get left the door tag on there. Guess what? You get 20 bucks off. This is our business card. We, we use this as a business card. We also have a smaller business card uh, that we use. We use a smaller business card that we, we go, we give them very simple, very to the point. And then after that, we give them a nice pin. SoCal solar panel cleaning on the pin itself. I don't know if you guys can see that, but has our information, our phone number, and we give them this nice pin with a, um, uh, the tip on this right here you can use for your uh, computer. And I uh, can't remember what they're called, but you can just go around and use this. And uh, it's awesome. So they get a free pin. Everybody who buys our service gets our service. And uh, it, it adds up. Uh, who prints out our customer receipts? Uh, we use... Um, Oh my goodness. Uh, I forgot their name. Well, uh, Vistaprint. Uh, we have Vistaprint that we, we do our receipts. And then also uh, we use an online service um, that we use also. So when we bill somebody, we'll use the, uh, the online service for that. QuickBooks, as a matter of fact. And uh, that we get that taken care of. Uh, da -da -da. Righteous Standard says, how often do you guys anchor off on homes? Well, you want to anchor off on homes, you are uh, used, if it's pretty steep. Uh, we don't anchor off too often unless it's on the edge. Then we'll anchor off. And when he talks about anchor off, it's a tool basically that you can take a tile off the roof right into the roof itself with some anchor bolts, three anchor bolts, and then you tie yourself off with a rope from that anchor bolt to the back of your safety harness, work off the edge of the roof. That's what uh, Righteous is talking about when he says anchor off on homes. And it is uh, that also we have uh, other tools we use for like seamless um, roofs that you can tie off there and uh, uh, that we do sell, they sell on Amazon. So you can find those uh, out on Amazon also, but those are anchor uh, uh, ties that we also use uh, for the service itself. Um, Righteous Standard says, uh, can I use my five gallon per minute, 3000 PSI machine to clean off solar panels? And if so, what type of pole can I use? We want to use a high pressure uh, hose for that. But uh, for example, our um, our Solitech C1000, we use no more than 2,800 psi yeah. when we are using that in the neighborhood of 2,500 psi when we are cleaning solar panels. Um, if you if you use anything higher than that you are going to burn out the, the brush itself. And honestly, that is way too much for right, so overkill. Yeah, for solar panel cleaning. And uh, you'll have a spray that's just really coming out and wasting water at that point. So 2,200 PSI to 2,800 PSI is what you want to use yeah. uh, with a high pressure uh, hose for that. CC the cat says, I'm John HVAC's cat. Oh, awesome. <laughs> uh, who prints out your customer receipts? Uh, I think we talked about that already. Vista print. Yeah. Uh, does, it, no, does your pen have a laser on it? No, we don't use a laser. <laughs> Not blinding no airplanes. We don't have sharks either. We don't have sharks. There you go. 
Panarello Rider says, do you have a scheduling software or app? That's a great question there, Panarello. Um, there are some out there, and I purchased one, and I don't like it. So what I do is I get onto my phone and just go straight to my calendar, and uh, as the orders come in, as the customers come in, I go ahead and put it on my calendar. Also, I have a calendar right in front of me that I use. Um that I write down uh, the information if I'm here at my home um, talking and, you know, we're here to eight o'clock. So I write that stuff down there. Uh, but no, I don't have an app that I really use because I just don't feel comfortable with them, to be honest. Uh, hey, what's up there, Ejai Amidif? Did I even say that right? Wow. Well, hopefully I said it right. Uh, I feel door knocking and door hanging works more for clients and these third parties. Um, at range panel cleaning in the 559. Awesome. Um, look, word of mouth is, is, is going to be your best when it comes to word of mouth. You want to be able to uh, go out there and talk to people. If you're door knocking, so be it. You know, talk to the customers. Educate them. If you don't educate them, they will never know. Um, so you, you want to make sure that you educate your customers. We do a lot of marketing. We do a lot of Google uh, marketing yep. and where people find us on Google, Bing, Yahoo. Um, so uh, we do um, Thumbtack. Thumbtack. We do Siri. We do Alexa. Next door. Next door. Uh, there's a lot. We can keep going on. I mean, home home do, advisor. Yeah. Um, there's just a lot of them out there that that will call you, especially when you are just uh, uh, starting your business. Yeah. They will call you and ask, um, "Hey, let's let us let us advertise for you." So, yeah. righteous says, "What about using a five gallon per minute twelve volt with a water fed pole?" I think that's overkill. You probably want to get something smaller, righteous. You don't want to blow out that uh, your or anything else like that. So and five gallons. That's a lot. That's, that's uh, a lot. Yeah, just our uh, Solitec C1000 is almost a, a half a gallon per minute of, of water coming out. So we save a lot of money when we are cleaning panels because it's a half a gallon per minute. Yeah. You know, as opposed to five gallons per minute, if you can imagine. Now, a Solitec brush is three and a half gallons per minute, and that shoots out a lot more water, but um, it just depends how dirty those panels are and so forth. Yeah, there's a time and a place to use the proper equipment. Yeah. But if you have it, you can use it. If you don't, get it or make the best do of what you got. Yes. All right, guys. Well, we're going to call it a day. It is after 4 o'clock here, uh, and we are going to call it a day. We have been on since an hour and 40 minutes, wow. a little long. But thank you guys for watching our live broadcast. Once again, we need 120 more subscribers to hit 1,000 subscribers. Yes. And then once we hit the 1,000 subscribers, you are guys, you guys are going live with us out in the field mm -hmm. on the roof. And there you go. We can't do that now because no. we don't have the thousand subscribers. So whatever you do, pass our channel around, let other people know yeah. we exist. And uh, we're trying to get those thousand subscribers. We have enough watch time. We just need a thousand. And once we hit that 1,000, you guys are going live with us out in the field, whether it's commercial or residential. And uh, that's going to be a whole different experience. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching our videos. We appreciate really appreciate it. that. Don't forget to smash the, the thumbs up button. And uh, we'll see you guys on, on the, the next, next video. video. See ya. Peace. Peace.